Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. We're going to continue talking about statistical plotting. In this case we're going to talk about XY scatter plotting. Uh, so basically, uh, you know, when we were talking about graphing functions, we had a function Y is equal to some function of X. In the calculator, using the equation we put in there, it would calculate the values of Y and X according to the formula that you give it in here, and then it would plot those values on a graph. Well, a statistical scatter plot, or an XY plot, is basically the same thing. It's just there's no formula involved. It's raw data that you collect that you type into a list, and then the, the calculator plots the points. So it's actually simpler than this uh, function business we were doing earlier. Um, the only catch is you have to have your data. You have to have XY co coordinate points. So for the purposes of uh, illustration, we'll kind of make up a scenario. Let's say you had a metal bar. Envision this metal bar going horizontal. Maybe it's like, uh, I don't know, a meter long or something. And at the end of this bar, at uh, coordinate 0, let's say, x is equal to 0, we're going to use the x coordinate to denote um, the, uh, the, the bar is going to lie along the x-axis, so we'll be able to see how long the bar is. And over here at x is equal to 0, at one end of the bar, we're going to put a blowtorch. And we're going to heat up one end of this metal bar. So I think you might all agree that near the blowtorch, the temperature of the metal is going to be hot. And near the far end of the metal, it's going to be cooler. And everywhere in between, it'll just kind of gradually, the temperature will gradually go down, right? So you can actually do this experiment. You could go in a garage, put a metal bar up there. You could measure the distance in X. You could measure the temperature everywhere. And then you would have some statistical data, right? Um, this is just one example. I mean, you could you could have a survey for statistical data where you ask questions or whatever. But I'm just trying to kind of come up with something that we can kind of wrap our brains around. So let's go into the apps menu, go into the data matrix editor, and create a new uh, set of data. All right. So this is data in the main folder, and we'll just choose a letter A or something like that to rip, to save our data in. We can name it whatever. We can name it bar if we wanted to. Go ahead and hit uh, enter. And uh, now we have our data. So what I want to do is just think about how we want to set this up. I propose that we put all of the coordinates in this column and the temperatures in this column. So literally at x is equal to 0, right, if we go over here, the temperature of that metal might be like 300 degrees, let's say 300 degrees Celsius. All right. And at a temperature of uh, 0 0.1, let's say, the, um, the value here might be a little bit cooler, wouldn't you say? 295, okay? So if you had all of these measurements, you could just kind of go and put, uh, and maybe you didn't even evenly, maybe you did not even evenly space these measurements out. In other words, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Maybe you just sort of randomly took a sampling. Maybe your next measurement was at 0 0.5. Maybe your next measurement was at 0 0.7. Maybe your next measurement was at 1. Maybe your next measurement was 1.2. Uh, 1.5, 1.6, and 2.0. Let's say that's all the measurements you have, nine measurements. They're not really evenly spaced, they're just sort of there. And your temperature, you just kind of go here. So over here at uh, 0.5, uh, let's say the temperature dropped to 250 degrees. Uh, and then at 0.7, it dropped to 225 degrees, let's say. And at 1, it dropped to 200 degrees. And then 1.2 meters away or whatever from the origin, it dropped to, uh, you know, 180. And now it's starting to drop off pretty steep, 150. Pretty steep here. I'm going uh, down here, so we'll do like 120. Uh, we can do like uh, 60 here for the very last. So two meters away, it's maybe 60 degrees. So here we have what we call XY data. In this case, it's something you, we're measuring in the lab, but it could be, like I said, anything. The weather, it could be a survey, it could be flipping a coin. You could have any number of scenarios where you would need to collect two numbers to represent whatever experiment you're doing. All right, so we want to plot this in an XY plot. So literally, this is X comma Y, X comma Y, X comma Y, X comma Y, right? So we want to go into F2. And we want to define something, so I'm going to overwrite this previous curve, previous deal that we were doing. We're not going to do a modified box plot. Let's go and do a scatter plot. Scatter means little points scattered around everywhere, right? And uh, the mark means the same thing. This is what is the tick mark going to look like on the screen? We can choose a box, we can choose a cross, we can choose a square. Let's just go ahead and leave it as a box. There's no reason not to. And then it's going to ask for our x and y points. Our x points are going to be in column 1, that's the distance. And our y points are going to be in column C, 
2. So we just have to define and tell the calculator where everything is. And we're not going to do anything with this frequency stuff, so we're done. Let's go ahead and hit enter to save it. And now notice the icon changes. It's a This is a little representation of a, a little scatter point with dots. The box means that's what we've selected for our tick point. Uh, our little point that we put on the graph. The X data is in column one, the Y data is, is in column two. So we can go ahead and quit out of this stuff and go back to the home screen. And now we can go to the window menu. Now you can try to set this up if you want, but it's a little bit easier just to go over here to zoom data. It's not gonna be perfect, but it should be at least giving us starting points. So hit zoom data and then bammo, look at our beautiful XY plot. This is called a scatter plot. And you can see that basically over here is x is equal to zero. Over here, x should be equal to two meters. And so you can kind of visualize your bar laying on here with the blowtorch kind of like under this end of it. The temperature is very high here. And then as we go down, farther away from the blowtorch, the temperature goes down, 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 uh, just like this. Okay, now we can plot it. We can hit F3 and we'll get all the little points here. At x is equal to zero, we had 300. And as we trace through here, we'll see all of the points that we put in here with their corresponding y values. So basically, a scatter plot is just used when you have a bunch of, of, of data pairs that go together, x, y, and you want to visualize that. You could have the age of students in a room, and then you can have their IQ for the other thing. That would be an x, y pair. The, the age would be one coordinate. The IQ would be another. So it doesn't have to be something physical like a bar. It could be really almost any data that goes together. It sometimes can be useful to plot them. All right, so let's go back into the apps menu. I want to show you one more thing before we close the section out. Let me go and open that data set one more time. This is our data we typed in. Let's go to plot setup. This is the plot that we had. Let's go ahead and define it again. I want to make a change to it. Instead of a scatter plot, let's go ahead and select an XY line. Okay, an XY line is the same thing as a scatter plot. It plots the points, but then it just draws a line between them. So we'll leave everything else the same. I'm not changing anything else. So now, notice instead of these little dots, you got like a little jagged line here, right? So let's go at this point to the window menu up here, and I can go to F2, zoom data, and then I have a little line. So basically, you, it draws your little, your actual points, and then it draws a line between them. So notice it kind of draws a straight line segment everywhere. So obviously, the temperature probably doesn't look quite like this. It probably smoothly changes. It probably doesn't have these sort of discontinuous jumps like this. But it does show you the exact data points that you took. And it does draw a general line between them so you can sort of generally see the trend. And when you trace it, the trace is only going to snap to the actual data points you have. It's not going to snap in between because that's just a line that's drawn in between to help you visualize things. So this, my friends, is how you graph a statistical scatter plot or an XY plot, which are basically the same thing, it's just one has a line that goes between them. Anytime you have data pairs that's useful to visualize uh, the relationship between two things, graphing it this way can be handy to do. It's pretty easy to do, you just type your XY data in, you go into the uh, definition there when you define the graph, and you tell it where the X information is, you tell it where the Y information is, and then you just go over here to the graph mode and hit um, zoom data and uh, there you go and that's how you graph statistical XY scatter plots.